On March 13, 1802, 71 attorneys, three justices, and the chief justice of the Pennsylvania Supreme Court formed the Law Library Company of the City of Philadelphia. Their goal was to share knowledge and resources. 220 years later, that organization is now known as the Philadelphia Bar Association. Our association's founding was rooted in the idea that by coming together as a group, we could do so much more for the betterment of the city and the profession than would be possible for an individual. That spirit has always been an intrinsic part of what it means to be a Philadelphia lawyer, and it remains a key mission of the Philadelphia Bar Association. Our strong foundation of volunteer leadership is part of what makes our community special. That includes the amazing legacy of our chancellors, but also the work of all of our volunteers and the support of each and every member. Any successes that the association has had in its more than three centuries of existence are all of ours to share. What's the value of the Bar Association? First, the opportunities for education, mentorship, and networking are unmatched. Second, the exposure to the concept of service to our profession and our community it was not something I learned in law school, but was introduced to me by the Bar Association. But most important, the whole notion of the practice of law, not just as a business, but as a profession with obligations of civility and decency to our colleagues, compassion and support for our neighbors that desperately need but can't afford the services of a lawyer, and respect for the rule of law and the courts we are privileged to appear before were lessons I learned as a member, helping me become not only a better lawyer, but a better person. In 2002, our community held a year-long bicentennial celebration. The 20 years since have been defined by challenges and constant change, but also success, progress, and the fun memories that we have all shared. We have continued to be your voice on issues that matter to our profession. We supported construction of a new unified building for family court. Our lobbying efforts helped to defeat the New Jersey bona fide rule and attempts to impose a statewide tax on legal services. We have maintained our strong connection with the judiciary. We've stood up for judicial independence, including during the 2020 election. Our Judicial Commission performs a crucial service in helping to elect qualified candidates to the bench, and the power of its recommendations are evident at the polls. Judges are such an important part of our society, and we live in a city where judges are elected. Um, there's not necessarily a lot of information that the population has before they go to the polls. So our goal and our job has been to make sure that the population understands who they're voting for. We have strongly advocated for increased diversity in the profession and for a more equitable and inclusive society. We've been the place for uncomfortable but critical conversations about diversity, equity, and inclusion. We've spoken out against racism and we have honored members of our community for their efforts to build greater inclusion in our community. We've made sure that the candidates are asked questions about DEI they are told beforehand that they will be asked about the work that they've done in their careers and how they perceive DEI in the courtroom. We want the judges to understand that they have an obligation to represent the citizens of Philadelphia in their entirety. We have built effective partnerships with Philadelphia's public interest sector. Our community's push for equal access to justice has resulted in the passage of right to counsel and the success of Philadelphia's eviction diversion program. The Philadelphia Bar Association founded Community Legal Services in 1966 and has been our partner in justice ever since then. Over the past five years, Philadelphia's eviction prevention programs have been recognized as a national model and the Bar Association has been both an incubator for these initiatives and a key leader in advocating to make them happen. Our association has also been a place for the legal community to socialize, to network, and to make a positive impact. We've raised thousands of dollars for local nonprofits through our charitable giving efforts. We've honored individuals and groups who have gone above and beyond to make Philadelphia a better place to live and to work. Even when the pandemic kept us apart physically, 
we found creative ways to come together and to support one another. The annual Bench Bar Conference brings together lawyers from a broad range of practice areas and honored members of our bench to get to know each other better and to learn together. I would not be where I am today if it was not for my involvement in the Philly Bar. To this day, the Philly Bar will and, and it will always hold a special place in my heart. Some of my friends on the YLD board suggested that I, I run for uh, chair elect. Um, I, I was honored. I wasn't sure if I could do it, um, but I, I gave it a shot and I did it. And I think the learnings I had, the friendships, the connections, um, and just really the challenges, quite frankly, of, of running a bar association uh, group like that um, really developed me and set me up for where I am today. In the 1700s, the term Philadelphia lawyer was used to describe lawyers who were particularly adept, committed, and clever. A common phrase of the times was, only a Philadelphia lawyer could have done it. Our association's history is a testament to the power of Philadelphia lawyers and what we can accomplish together.